Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. As promised, uh, here's uh, some further information about the uh, BTEC UV25X4 quadbander that I have installed uh, in my pickup. Um, the installation at this point is uh, almost complete. I still need to uh, drill some holes to route my uh, power and antenna wires uh, elsewhere. So on this radio, it's uh, fairly small. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, press the power button in to have it start up. And right now I have it set in uh, a mode called synchronized. So the number one and two uh, lines are synced together and the three and four lines are synced together. I also have my call sign uh, set in the status line. Uh, just in case the radio gets stolen, there's at least some indication that it's my radio. So, um, I wanted to go through some of the menu options that I think are important. Uh, the first one is going to be menu zero, which is TMR. I have mine set to A, B, C, D. And then to get sync, it's uh, number 32. Well, I think we're going to have to go through that manually. Let's see here. There we go. I have my sync set to A, B plus C, D. And then, uh, additionally, to get it set the way I have it, you want C, uh, 27 C, A, M, D, F set to name. Uh, 28 C, B, M, D, F set to freak. Number 29 C, C, M, D, F set to name. And number 30... CD MDF set to freak. Uh, that will give you the display that I have. Like that. And then to switch back and forth, uh, you still have to go through the AB selection, and it'll make you go through all four lines. Uh, another good menu option for on the fly is power, uh, number three. Uh, let's see here. second. There we go. Menu 5, timeout timer. I think it's defaulted to 60 seconds. I like to have mine set to 120. Number 6 is APO, automatic power off. I keep mine set to off because living in West Texas, there's times where I'm in the vehicle for four or five hours at a time, and I don't want the radio to turn off on me. 7, wide or narrow. In amateur radio applications, you're pretty much going to have this set for wide. Let's see here. Number nine, beep on or off. That gives you your uh, ketone beeps. Let's move up through the list here to number 20, PTT ID. In amateur radio applications, you want, always want this off. Uh, let's see here. And we've already covered that one. Let's see here. Uh, number 43, TX display by default. This is set to power. It'll show you your uh, your power output. I set mine to mic volume uh, just because I like to have the VU meter effect. That's pretty much it for a quick tour on the radio. Let me go ahead and uh, key the radio up so that you can see uh, how it works. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. KD5 TKR testing. One, two, three, four, five. This is the KC5EZZ link repeater. 7.16 a.m. at 74 degrees. KD5 TKR testing clear. Weather repeater. All right. And then from there, we can just hold the power button down to turn the radio off. And one thing that I've done is uh, install the mic clip on the side so that I can just hang the mic right there. So that's going to be it for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And uh, I'll have a video out soon on how to program this radio with Chirp. 
uh, covering a lot of the functions that I've mentioned, uh, the menu options uh, that I covered uh, in this video. So I should have that out soon. Um, I'm hoping my son's in town for a visit, so uh, I've been a little bit slower on getting the videos out, but uh, we'll pick back up soon. Have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching.